Hot welcome to Tuesday in Canmore. We have a hard swim, hard ride, and a run. So it's a bit of a big day. <laughs> but we're starting with some fetch at the most beautiful dog park on earth. Because Flynn comes first, always. And uh, then we're gonna do the swim in the pool, drive to Banff, do our bike workout at Lake Minnewanka, five by 12 minutes, which is a bit daunting. And then uh, rush back to Canmore, I have a massage and a uh, little run in the evening. Eric had his massage yesterday. So this is our, um, this is basically our second full week of training in Canmore. We've got this week and then one more hard week of workouts before we taper and it's race week essentially. Um, the thing that's like daunting about this, at least for me, is the swim workout is really hard. The bike workout is extremely hard and like getting out of bed in the morning and getting started on this whole thing is just a lot to lots of process um swim workout doing a bunch of get out 50s eight really just maximum effort 50s with a bit of rest and then we're doing um how is it eight 200s i think <laughs> at solid pace which is like supposed supposed to be olympic distance um race pace and that is that is a lot for being at altitude and one of those things you kind of just got to focus on the next effort in front of you versus what you're doing in the bike workout later. I'm saying this partially to convince myself. Babe, we just... Um, regrettably, there is no swim footage because uh, the pool was absolutely jam-packed with little kids and there's one thing I've learned over the years is don't even be walking around holding the camera when there are a bunch of little kids in the pool. Um, yeah, anyway, on to Banff. You can just use your imagination on how amazing our strokes looked. Uh, the workout is 5 by 12 minutes at 70.3 watts or higher. Right? I don't know about the or higher part, but... <laughs> well, attempting to do 70.3 watts, which theoretically shouldn't be that hard since we hold 70.3 watts for two hours usually. But this is an hour total of holding those watts with 10 minutes in between at like not full recovery, like still pedaling. Well, really, it's 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Wow, we better get started. That's yeah, long. I know. It's a two and a half hour ride. We better get started.
Not bad. Felt like 8 out of 10 on the FSCL instead of 10 out of 10 like last, last workout. All right, this should be a fun one today. We are, we've got a big run to do. It's basically a tempo run, like true tempo run. Um, mine's like a total of an hour 20, have 60 minutes in that at- uh, 60? Yeah. Shit. At like, it's called um, Steady, which is like a little bit slower than 70.3 pace. I think I'll probably try to start at like the slower 70.3 pace that I go and maybe build to dream 70.3 pace. Uh, but we're going to drive up Spray Lake Road, which is this really cool gravel road um, that I actually gravel biked on last week and do it in the mountains for maximum views and funness. Uh, what do you have? 45 minute. 45 minute. So I think we're going to be doing this at the same time, so I don't know if we'll have any like gritty us grimacing in workout stuff, but we'll try to get all the uh, surrounding accoutrement with nature. Nice spin neck, babe. I'm into it. When it's all about the race No turning back Too late Got my bones about to break Body's numb Can't feel the pain Should I run with the crew? Do whatever you want. It's cold. It's cold. If I had one, I would wear it. Okay. So 15, I'll just do a 15 minute with the, with the crew. Yeah, you don't sweat anyway. Yeah, I think that it's stupid to run on this road without bear spray. So I feel like I should go first a minute ahead of you. Okay. And then you go. Okay. And we both flip at 22 and a half. Okay. So we're always within a minute of each other. Because I feel like you'll put two minutes on me in a in 4K. Okay. You're probably running 30 seconds per K faster, right? It, I'm running maybe. four minutes per K, you're running 330. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Around Okay. That. So if you leave a minute after me, You'll catch me at halfway. Yeah. And then we okay. have two more K. Yeah. Ish. Okay. Flip it 22 and a half and then come back. Yeah. And then I'll hand the bear spray to you for your last 15 minutes. Okay. Does that work? Bear spray baton. <sighs> Sounds good. Was that on the vlog? Because that's interesting. That, we got it. <laughs> Most interesting thing we will say all day. Tired of another training video? Here's our bear spray logistics. <laughs> And also, it's like gonna be really slow to run with uh, bear spray. It's like heavy and full of liquid. 
Yeah. So factor that into your, into your paces, you know? We're probably fine because there's so many cars, but like this road has so many grizzlies on it. Yeah. And if, if we, like, it would just be so dumb if we ran into a bear. It would be really dumb to die for this tempo run. We okay. should really have like a, like a thing that goes like this. Okay? Scat pack. Yeah. Okay. So I, w I give you one minute. Do I need fuel for a 45 minute run? Uh, I was just going to take it now. Okay. That was my plan. Well, this is the caffeine one. Yeah. I want to practice taking it while I run though. Oh, well, take it in the first minute. <laughs> See you at the end. Alright, I just finished mine. I passed Eric the bear spray, he passed me his phone, and he has 10 minutes left. Way hillier than I expected. Like, huge hills, but I guess that's good for strength and it's kind of breaks it up to the rolling, recover on the downhills, but we're also like 400 meters higher up here than Canmore. So the breathing was hard, but it was good. I'll try to get video of Eric. Here's my statistics. 18K, Fort 13 per K, 260 meter climb, 1700 meters elevation. That includes warm up and cool down, so not too bad. Not super impressive, but super high up here. Ooh. That was pretty brutal. Yeah. It was like 300 meters of climbing. Yeah. Ready for St. George. So hilly. Oh, how's yours go? I already recorded a selfie video. Oh! You're the best. Look at the babies! Oh my gosh! They're so cool. Is this National Geographic? Holy shit. Fight for the salt. Like a disco groove me me boy, come on. Well, that was freaking that was insane. That, that, I would not want to be coming up on those while running. I don't think they ever heard you. They just were freaking attacking each other over some salt. Yeah, I guess. How do you do? Whatever you do, just don't stop. You just move.